Hey guys, Geek41 here, and today we're going to be having a look at the Star Wars, the Black Series, number 8 in the series, Han Solo figure. Now there are so many reviews of, of the Star Wars Black Series figures on YouTube that I I didn't really want to review this because there's so many other good reviews, but you know what, for my subscribers and for other people who don't like the other reviews, I'm going to give you my own review on the Han Solo figure. So without further ado, let's get into this review. So here is the packaging for the Star Wars Black Series um, Han Solo, and uh, so far I've seen a lot of the packagings, and they're, the packaging are, are really awesome. I wish I bought two of them so I can keep uh, keep one package. But the packaging is just sexy. Uh, you got a picture of Han Solo there, in like a button style, or a classic black and white. Got Star Wars Black Series, got uh, Han Solo in the packaging. Uh, number eight, Han Solo, Hasbro. It's four and up. <clears throat> On the side, nothing. Here, just a clear, so you can see, you can see the figure in it. On the back, you got the read up. Han Solo has a final showdown with the bounty hunter Greedo in the Mausa Isla Can Cantina. Sorry if I butchered that. Sorry about the mess. Han Solo says. You see Han Solo. Han Solo. With his leg lift up, and uh, he shoots first. He shoots first, and Greedo's hand. Yes, he does shoot first. So there was a quick look at the packaging, and uh, we will get him all out of his package. So here, Han Solo is out of his package, and he is a great figure. He is just awesome. Han Solo from the Black Series Star Wars fig line is just great. I think Hasbro is nailing it with these figures, with these. With the Black Series figures. It's just phenomenal. It really is. That's all I can say right now. Without further ado, let's get to this review. So, first, let's take a look at the, uh... Oops. <laughs> My bad. Let's have a look at the detail of Han Solo. The detail is just great on him. Let me just adjust my lighting. You can see... You know, I'm sorry, I do not have superior lighting like other great reviewers do. Uh, hopefully you can see the head sculpt. That head sculpt resembles Harrison Ford a, a, a great amount. His, it's just a great head sculpt. Hasbro, it's not like they completely missed it. They did a really good job. A really good job. Unlike the hit girl figure from NECA. Off topic here. So, the detail. You got the red uh, pattern stripes going down the costume. And then he got the pants, got his nice shiny black boots, his uh, regular shirt, and there's a nice vest there. Great attention to st the stitching and the detail. It's a bit plain, it's just all black, but, you know, there's nothing else you can do. I love that uh, the fact that on this uh, holster here, there's two holsters, but I'll get to that. The belt in the holster is actually not just one plain color, it's actually weathered with some black... Uh, brush strokes and with the metal the metal uh, strap there is actually silver and on my figure is there's actually some type of black paint there which is really cool but yeah so the hair actually has a lot of colors in it it's not just one simple brown color there's lots of uh, attention to paint there the paint the detail the scopes is what sells a figure for me and I really enjoy this figure a lot. It's just a great figure. So articulation. Han Solo can move his head downward, not that much upward because of his hair. He rotates through his degrees. Uh it's on a ball joint if I pop his head off. Oh jeez. Now you can see it's on a ball joint there. Uh, his arms rotate through his degrees. They go outward uh, by that much. It's a very good amount. Uh, bends at nine. Bends nine degrees at the elbow. I wish it was a double jointed elbow, but whatever. He has a ball hinge in his hand. A nice ball joint in the torso. I don't. I don't really care for the app crunch. That would just ruin the sculpt. His legs go forward by that much. They go out. Um, they go back actually, not out. They go out like that, and they go in. So he has a good 
range of movement. He has a swivel at the upper thigh, or the, like that. Because I have a loser the pattern. He has double joint knees, which is freaking awesome. No uh, boots rule, which sucks, but he does have an ankle pivot. So, and that actually helps the, uh, the maneuver, the movement of the figure. So now the accessories. Han Solo comes with a good amount of accessories. First, he comes with his iconic pistol there. So you can see. Uh, it's, it's not just one simple brown hilt color. It's actually mixed with some good black paint there. Same for the gun. There's some silver stroking on it. It's a really good gun. And it can fit into his hand, like so. He also comes with this interchangeable uh, waist, which in the, when I took him out of the package, he had this on. So I had to peg that in. It's basically simple. You just, when you, you just, there's a peg, unpeg it, take it out. And then there's a loop here, and you have to take his foot, and you have to insert it there. And then... It slips on, and then you just peg in the back. And there's, there's a peg in this area. And then there's a peg hole. And you just peg it in. You can do the math. It's not that, uh, it's not a rocket science. It's really simple. So, yeah. Now, this is just one simple white color. I think this is a stormtrooper belt. But, yeah, whatever. Here is his other gun. His other blaster, and that's a really cool blaster. So that can fit in his hand too. And there's it. And also, like it just showed you, it does fit into the holster there. Uh, last but definitely not least, he comes with two of these gloved hands. Uh, I don't understand the purpose of them. Because in the movie, I don't understand what he did with these gloves. I don't think he had these gloves uh, in the cantina scene. He might have had him in when he was flying the ship. Uh, the I forgot what the ship was called. My bad. So, yeah. so now, Sasuke person time. Han Solo stands at about six inches. Here is compared to the Marvel Legends Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man, or the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man. Here is compared to a NECA 7-inch figure, Colonel on Stripes. Be, might, might not be able to get a good look at him, but there he is. Another great figure, too. Let's check his review out. Here is compared to a Sharpie, Sharpie marker, and here is compared to my famous glue stick. So Han Solo is a great figure. Uh, he's definitely a ten out of ten, in my opinion. <clears throat> I have no gripes with him at all. He is just so freaking awesome. He's like Clint Eastwood in Star Wars, basically, but a little more scruffier. Yeah, he's just he's just awesome. Oh, he's a great figure. Um, now his price is going up. I have seen many stores that he's selling out quick now. Um, on Amazon.com he was $15. Then he went to 17 then to 18 then to 19 now $22. I, I bought him off Amazon.com for about $19 for Amazon Prime. So it was free two-day shipping. But yeah, I'd, I highly recommend this figure. Definitely a pickup in my book, and I think you should pick him up too. So yeah, like, favorite, subscribe. Um, I'd be grateful if you could subscribe. You don't have to. It's up to your choice, though. So this is the Geek41 signing out. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.